because I don't know how she found All right. Here's, here's what it reads in today's paper, brother. Okay. Read me some of Report it. of dead body unconfirmed. City police would not confirm or deny a report Sunday that a dead body had been found under the... This is Global Telling. This call is originating from an Ohio correctional institution and may be recorded or monitored. I have a collect call from Lord Riggle Jr. Yeah, what's up? Huh? What's up? I thought I'd call and say how my, say how you, everybody's doing at that end. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, okay. We're doing okay. Right now, this week, I'm on vacation. Oh, are you? Yeah. I was sitting down there, and I I turned around, and I was watching TV, and I said, oh, I haven't... I said, well, I'm going to turn... I was going to try at 6, and I said, well, it was like about 5.15. I said, well, i got 45 minutes. And I got into wrapped into watching the TV, and I looked, looked at my watch, and I said, oh, man... Yeah, I thought I'd call to see how to see how everybody's doing. Yeah, uh, I just can't I just can't can't wait to get out. I mean, uh, to get out of here because I'm get, I'm getting tired of this institution altogether. Yeah. Uh. Because a lot of them in here, they, they, like to, they like to come down and aggravate me, you know. And I'm getting to the point where I'm getting fed up, I'm getting stressed out. They try to tell me their problems and everything. I said, man, I don't want to hear it. I said, I got problems of my own. And I'm trying to stay st- uh, stress-free. It's kind of hard to do, but... And then they like to... Because they know I drink coffee, Okay. Mm-hmm. And you no, know, I hear, I've, here now I've been, I've been, I'll make me a cup, and I won't. After I make a cup, I don't drink anymore for quite a while. And they always come down and say, "Can I get a cup of coffee?" I know you got coffee. I said, "Yeah, I got coffee, but you're not getting it." They get kind of upset. I tell them, I tell them, I tell them, I tell them, I tell them one dude. I told him, I said, "You get money coming in." I said, "I don't get no money coming in." I said, "I live off, of, uh, I get state pay." I said, "I got to live off of that." Fourteen dollars a month, and it's kind of and it's kind of hard to do. Yeah, well. because get this, okay? Because there's a bag of kefir here. The the, the, the kefir, the coffee is two seventy eight a bag. The laundry detergent is a dollar thirty six. You know, the, uh, for, you know, the uh, the bars of soap is like sixty four cents. They're uh, deodorant depends on what kind. It's a dollar, over almost two dollars almost. Two, three dollars, and then and then that, and then I have to get writing paper, you know, stuff that I need, and it's kind of hard to get all that. Plus, you know how I, you know I like to eat, you know, but here lately I don't hardly eat much in the evenings like I used to. I can't even get, I can't even like spur to get something like you know like the six get this. You know how much six pack of pop is for here in the commissary? Mm-hmm. Two dollars and thirty cents for six can for a six pack of pop. That's all I've been doing here lately, and I've been uh, I, I eat like a, a, a two soups every now and then. There's like twenty cents a soup, you know. I've been eating soups like crazy, but man, I'm getting I'm getting uh, I'm getting burned out on soups already. No, I think I would too. <laughs> them, them ramen noodle soups, jeez. And uh, I'm waiting on a on a food box to get here next month. Mom said, Mom told me in, uh, in the letter, no, uh, the visit when she was here, she said she's going to send it out on the on the second. That's not too far away. Oh, you know who's, uh, will be 24 this coming month? On the 11th of July? Vera. Mm-hmm. And you know who's going to be, uh, 20, 20, 23 on the, uh... Ashley. Uh-huh. 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 Don't seem like it. 
I know. You know one thing though? I don't, I'm not on no more, I'm not taking no more, more of that blood pressure medicine anymore. You wanna know why? Uh. They told me here, but I'm doing real fine. I've been staying, I've been boiling salt and stuff, and they told me, I, they told me, This call is originating from an Ohio Correctional Institution and may be recorded or monitored. I've been staying away from all that seasoning, from them them seasoning packets. Because I know when I use use one of them, shortly after that, I can tell my blood pressure shoots straight up. I've been doing doing pretty good not taking no no blood pressure medicine for about a month now. That's That's pretty good. Well, is there some... No, I just sent him out a letter a week or so ago, and I ain't heard nothing. I don't think he's going to last too long. Because the last letter, well, Mom wrote me and told me that uh, he might, he, he's got to go back in front of the pro board. It's what, it's what, it's what he told her. But, but he's getting, uh, he's getting to the point where, he, well, he's got, you know, the way he's been sick here lately. Yeah. He can't because when he was here, he would tell me one thing, and then the next day, I mean, a few minutes later, it's something totally different. I said, you remember what you just told me? He says, no, I don't remember. He can't even, he can't even remember half the time what he says. I, I look, I look for, for him not to make it, because, uh, because the last letter, last letter I got from him, I could, I couldn't even hardly read it. This is a crime circus presentation. I couldn't, I couldn't hardly, hardly read it. That was another thing I was going to tell you was about him, but I don't think he's going to make it. So how you been doing otherwise? Otherwise? Yeah, I'm doing good, you know. Jeff and I are talking pretty good. Oh, are you? Mm-hmm. Well, that's good. Oh, uh, well, I'm thinking of it. Have you got any, you didn't, you didn't got no pictures, pictures of my grandbabies yet, have you? Say what? You ain't got no pictures of, of uh, my grandkids, have you? Uh, no. You no, know, you know, get this. I, you know, what, what I can't figure out, Baron Ash, they, they can send pictures, they could, I'm going to, I have to do it. When I get pictures of them, you know what I gotta do? I gotta turn around and I gotta send them to mom so mom can get copies made. And I told mom, I said, "What well, I said, what am I? Got? I said, I, said, I gotta do be responsible." Mom says, "Well, you're you're the grandpa." I told mom, I said, "Yeah, but I'm start, I said, I, I said I may be 46, but I'll be soon 47. I'm starting to starting to forget things." So when uh, I'm, what I'm gonna do? Because I'm gonna have double. I I got. I'm gonna have some doubles. I'm gonna send. I'm gonna send you a picture of Brandon Brandon Lee and a picture uh, of uh, Willa Dean. Because I got two pictures. They're both the same. Because mom and I'm gonna send you my original one. The one that I was to me, I'm gonna send that to you, so you so you know what your so you know what my grandkids looks like. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Okay. I'll I'll probably end up sending that. I'll wait. I, I won't have to do anything until I get uh, for the uh, free letter from here, because I ain't got no more. I'm out of envelopes, so I'll wait till I get a free le- for the free letter to send send it out to you. I'll send you a, send you a picture of my grandkids. Got a second name. I just. Can't huh? Quite figure out where she got that name from. What Willard? Yeah. All right. My dad's name was Willard. W I L L. Yeah, I know. I know. She took the she took the R, you know, out of uh, Willard. And she just added. We took out one letter and added the last D. Oh, okay. Dean. Dropped. The, okay, she dropped the letter R and put E A N on the end. Yeah, because. Uh, my grandson's name is Brandon Lee, okay? Yeah, I know where she got that from, from my Bruce Lee's son, Brandon Lee. Okay, and uh, my granddaughter's name is Willa Dean Elizabeth Joe. Willa Dean Elizabeth Joe. I will have, I'll have on the back of the picture their name, 
and I'll have the what they uh, when they was born. This call is originating from an Ohio correctional institution and may be recorded or monitored. I'll have their date of birth on there. You know the date of birth, mm. time they was born, and how much they weighed. Not, you know everything on the, on the back of, the, of that picture for you. That way you have that way you have the information. Don't, that way. You, You'll have it. Don't even send me the picture back because I have. I already got one. So. Oh, all right. Okay. So I, I, I was gonna, I was gonna send it to you for a surprise, but I thought, no, I wanna, I wanna, you know, I thought I better ask you. I was thinking of because I don't know if you have a picture of, you know, a picture of them or not. No, I don't. Okay, so. It'll, it'll uh. Because when I get the pre letter for the, you know, the, this uh. You know, for next month, I'll send, uh, I'll send it out to you. I'll send it out. I'll send it out to you. That way, you got a picture of my grandkids. Yeah, anyone else are building here in town? Ta- building here in town, brother? What's that? Out there, out there by Myers, the front of uh, Myers by the gas station. Mm-hmm. Second, uh, oh, well, another uh, Arby's. Oh, okay. Oh, guess what I've been doing in between making ends meet from month to month. What? I've been, be, I've been cleaning people, their fans here. I've been cleaning the fans. I've been charging them a dollar. And, I, and for the tennis shoes, I charge them a dollar. Hey, I've been making ends meet. I, uh-huh. got, I got to. One day, a uh, person comes to me and asked me if I wanted to polish his shoes. I said, yeah. He says, I, 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 uh, he said, if you do a good job at it, he says, I'll get you back a coffee. My golly, I, they was white tennis shoes, and he gave me the polish, and I polished them up, made them look like they was brand new, no scuff marks, nothing on them. Got me the bag of coffee, and I think I'm doing, I think I'm doing pretty good, making ends meet from month to month. Yeah, every little bit helps. It's kind of hard to do, but I'm doing it. Oh, tell, tell her, tell you better half. I said hi. Yeah. Brother said hi. She said, oh, hi. <laughs> okay. What he said it was, he said, well, oh, you're, you're better half. I said, hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so when, uh, so what I do, I'll, I'll, I, I, I'll send you the, send you, the, you know, the pictures of, of my grandkids, plus the picture of Theron Ashley, okay? Okay. And then, uh, there's some other pictures I got caught, you know, some of uh, I'm going to send to you. Don't let nobody else know that you got these other pictures. I'm, I'm going to send them to you and, you, and uh, have you to hang on to them for me. Okay, okay. Because I got some pictures. I got, I'm getting too many, and I'm going to send, send them to you so you can hang on, hang, uh, put them up for me. Okay, I'll, I'll put them up for you. Because I'm afraid if I mail them home, and you know how you know how mom mom forgets where she puts stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because she's getting to the point, she's getting to the point now where she don't, she, uh, uh, you know, you know, and everything. So I uh, lose stuff. So on top of that, this way I'm going to send the stuff to you, and then that, uh, some pictures to you, and that way you can put them up. And that way you can put them up for me. Yeah, uh, Mary was saying that. Well, I'm going to tell you that you just caught me because we were just getting ready here in a little bit to go out to eat. Oh, so I timed it just right then. Yeah, you caught me this time, brother. <laughs> he went. He said. I was just take. I was just take. I was just taking a, a rough guess. You. Oh, guess what? What? I got me a a TV now. Oh, you do? Yep. Yeah. I was just getting ready to. I was looking for some coupons and trying to decide where to where to take you know for Mary and I to go to eat at. Yeah, I don't know. Something told me. You're, Someone told me to get away from that TV to come in to make a phone to call you. Yeah, if it wasn't for that, he would have probably already been gone. Yeah. Can you hear from Sister Jo? No, she don't. I haven't heard from her for now. I haven't heard her for for quite a while. Hmm. Not. Uh, no, I haven't heard her from her for a while, and I no. haven't heard from Crystal for a while. You have sixty seconds left on this call. You know, we heard that she went back to work from, uh, Vanessa told us. Huh. Well, I'm going to let you go for the, for the shutter saw. All right, brother. All right, I love you. Love you, too. All righty. Bye. Bye. 
This is Global Tell Link. This call is originating from an Ohio correctional institution and may be recorded or monitored. I have a collect call from... Lord Riggle, Jr. Yeah. Hello, bro. Yeah, what's up? Guess who, uh, you never guess who came with Mom to come up to see me on the 4th of this month on Saturday to see uh, be with her. Who? Laura. Oh, really? Yep. She came up to see, to see me. I shocked her, though. I had a full beard. Huh. Yeah, I thought I called just to, just to, uh, I know it's late. I wish everybody a Merry Christmas. I know it's late, but. This is a kind circus presentation. So what, uh, what have you been up to besides nothing? That's about it. Nothing. Well, oh, it is, uh. <laughs> Yeah, I've been I've been trying to lay low for a while. Because one one person is that's about ready to get get clocked. Yeah. He said he said something to me that I just didn't I just didn't approve of, and I tried to explain it to him the best way you know and everything. And then he turned around and, he, and I told him I said okay just leave it go. I said I said just stay out of my face. I stay out of your face. But I said we're me running each other out in the yard. I said. Leave it go with that. I said, I, I ain't doing nothing. Because I'm not going to the hole for nobody. Because it, would, it, wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't be worth it. No, it wouldn't. You got another long eight years stretch yet. No, I got seven. Seven? Yep. I get out. I get, I get out in eight, 18. Yep. I know. This year's almost over with. That's what I'm saying. So this year you get seven. Eleven plus seven years. Yeah, I got a letter from Laura the other day. You know, you know what? She said I ought to go into a contest where you you don't remember that show of um, Grizzly Adams. Mm -hmm. She said I she said I ought to be in that. Have a contest of that. She said I put <laughs> that because. Because when they came up, they had three pictures taken. And that way, I brought one. I brought one back with me. You remember when I? I don't know if you remember. No, you know. I don't think you ever came up to see me in the county, did you? Mm hmm. Okay. Um. Uh, my. Uh. I had a full full beard. I let it grow within a year and a half. It's about, it's about half that now, but I'm going to be getting it taken care of this Friday. I'm getting it. I'm going to get it thinned out, thinned, you know, trimmed, you know, cut down, you know, short. It makes me look like, look like I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bum, a, a, I'm a bum with my beard. No, no, hang on, I've got just a mustache, I don't have... Oh, you want to hear something what I checked into when I found out? Uh you remember, remember for you, you know, you know, when you, uh, when I asked if you, about, you know, if you ever wanted uh, me to send you a visit, visit form for you to come up and see me? Yeah. I checked into all that, okay? And I told him that you've been out for, well, been out since 80, 84, 83 or 84? Nothing, And you haven't been, in, you know, no trouble since then? They, they said that, uh, you're clean. You can come up. You can come up and visit me if I, if I ever decide to send you out a visiting form. You don't have to. You don't have to worry about getting it exposed or anything. Because you haven't been. But you haven't been in no trouble since then. Because I I, ch I checked into it. I checked. I checked into all that last last month. It was like it was more or less like I was like doing some det uh, det uh, detective work. Mm. One dude asked me, what was I doing? I said, none of your business. And I went and talked to my uh, case manager. Made, uh, when I went in there and talked to him about it, and I come out and the dude said, what was you doing in there? Telling on somebody? I said, don't worry about it. I said, it don't concern you. I said, I said, you must have a guilty conscience. This call is originating from an Ohio correctional institution and may be recorded or monitored. Yeah, I, so that... So that you're in the clear on all that. 
Whatever you decide, if you want me to, I can send you one if you want me to. It's up to you if you want me to. Yeah, I thought I'd call and try to get home to see how everybody, see how everybody's doing. Still there? No, I'm still here. Oh, oh I, I didn't hear anything in the background. I guess I used to hear a noise in the background, and I, <laughs> I didn't hear, I didn't hear it. Hear anything? No, I'm just in deep thought. Huh? I'm just in, I'm in deep thought. That's all. Oh, well, that's why I've been here lately. Because uh, I've been staying out of. Uh, don't even bother bothering talk. Remember how that for a while I told you I used to talk to a lot of around here, the inmates around here. Mm-hmm. I don't even do that no more. I've been sta- I've been staying low, staying out of everybody's face. Because a lot of them, some of them thinks that, thinks that uh, they're better than, better than me. And I just tell, I told one dude, I said, you're just like an inmate like I am with a number. It's the way I look at it. Yeah. And I think what it is, they hate it because I come right out and tell them, but tell them like it is and tell them like it is. But when I talk to them, I mean, you know when I talk, when I, okay, when I, how I used to talk, you know, and I always start cussing and everything. Mm-hmm. I, I talk to them, I don't even cuss at them at all. I think that's what, because uh, when I first got here, four years ago, I had a real bad, you know, that I could get my face, and I, and I started cussing at them and everything. I don't even do that no more. I just tell them like it is. I tell them if they don't like it, they don't have, they don't have, to, they don't have to speak to me. That's all, that's all I've been doing. I just... Don't talk to hardly nobody no more. Oh, can you do... Can you do me a... Oh, I don't know. Uh, I've been trying to get Laura. I've been trying to get Crystal. After You, you know where... Uh, you know the... Okay, of course you know where the Salvation Army Church is. Right across there, somewhere, somewhere around in there is where Sherry Brook lives. Yeah. I've been trying. I've been trying. There's a trampoline in the yard. I've been trying to get the address, but I we had no response. I wrote to. I wrote and asked. I, well, I asked Crystal several times. I I asked quite a, you know and everything. And so I've been wanting to write so I can see how my how my how my uh, how, how my kids and my my grandchildren are doing. Like, and I can't and I can't even get nobody to give me the uh, get the address. The last address I had of hers when she lived way out there past Whirlpool. And I can't get, and I can't get nobody to get it for me. So I'm going to have to uh, find, find another, find another way, another way of getting her address, get the address. This is a crime circus presentation. So how's everything at your end? Yeah, so-so. Huh? Yeah, so-so. So-so? Yeah. I bet you you're probably wondering why I haven't called you for a while. Mm, yeah, yeah. Well, every time, I, every time I try, you know, I always, you know, every time I try to, you know, try get through, I get depart. And then I said, well, every time I want, you know, call, you try to call you, all the folks are always busy. I said, well, one of these days, one of these days I'm going to try to get through. <laughs> Try to get to the phone, and I made it. I looked at the time, and I didn't see nobody sitting here at these phones. I said, "Good, I'm going to, I'm going to give it a chance, give it a try." <laughs> yeah, I just can't wait for these last seven years to go so I can get out. Yeah. This call is originating from an Ohio correctional institution and may be recorded or monitored. Huh? Hang on a minute. I got something to tell you. I just got a I just got a letter from Laura. Okay. She told me it was disturbing to me. It got me upset. Mom's blood pressure was 170 over 102, and that's not good. 
I just got I just got that the other day. Yeah, let me let me talk to Mary for a few minutes. But she ain't busy. Something. Well, she ain't got much to say, really. Okay, no problem. Tell her, tell her she's a, still a good girl in my book. <laughs> oh. I'm going to let you go because I, I got to go on a pass here. I got to go over to IHS here shortly. There's a where? IHS. What? Right. The infirmary. Oh. I got about five, six minutes before I can get over there. I've been doing pretty good. I've been taking my med, my meds like I like I'm supposed to. They put me on a new, on a new inhaler. Okay. That that round uh, Advil, that purple one. Mm-hmm. I only take it twice a day. Take it uh, for six o'clock in the morning, and then again at six in the evening. Because they said over oh, the when they when they check my you know my vital signs for my lungs and everything, they said my lungs wasn't. <laughs> They wasn't malfunctioning, right? Open it, open it, closing like they're supposed to. They said I was going around with the ammonia there for a while, walking ammonia, and I didn't even know I had it. She said my lungs were filled up with fluid. I didn't even know it. I said I told him I said no wonder I was having a rough time breathing and everything. Now since I've been u- using that purple inha- that purple inhaler, I've been feeling a lot better. Well, I'm going to go ahead and let let you go so I'm going to get what i got to get done. All right. All right. Love you all. All right. Have a new year. Yeah, you too. All right. Bye. Bye. This is Global Telling. This call is originating from an Ohio correctional institution and may be recorded or monitored. I have a collect call from... Lord Riggle, Jr. Yeah. Did you hear about Vera Joe? Yes, I did, brother. I know it. I know it. Just hang in. Yeah, because uh, <clears throat> Laura called up here and told me I went over there. That's how I found out. Because this morning it showed on the news, you know, the TV just said there was a murder, a murder in Findlay, you know. Mm-hmm. That was around breakfast time when it showed it, and I was getting, we waiting to go go eat breakfast. And I didn't get the message until like didn't know about it until after uh, I was over the kitchen at work about four thirty. You know what they know it makes it nice know since I, I work in that kitchen, you know I work in, uh-huh. the, in the pad room. They gave me two weeks off. Oh, you need it. Yeah, I turned around, and I, when I kept getting to depart, you know, and I said, well, I went over there and called, and I said, well, I'm going to leave. They let me call and go back. I went back over there, and he'd be in there until 9 until 7, and I went back uh. over there, and, he, and I called and left a, left a, yeah, and tried to leave a message, tried to leave a good message as much as I could real quick. Uh, Junior? Yeah. I, uh, I was wondering, did she ever date that guy, or how did she know him? I didn't really recognize his picture. They showed him on the TV. Daniel Pixler. That, so I understand what we're saying is the baby's father's uh, cousin. Hmm. Uh, Shannon's uh, nephew. That Pixler. Huh. And what we heard was he just got out of prison. Oh, wait a minute. That name does sound... Okay. What institution? You don't even know what institution he was at? Hmm. Well, I, I'll find out. I got connections. I'll find out. We were saying he's, he should have stayed there. Well, you know what now? What? He goes back. He ain't getting out, period. No, no. And how can I say this? I'm hoping to pray to God that he don't come here. He admitted to it. Oh, he did? Yes, they, they said on the news that he admitted to it. 
Okay. I'm hoping and praying, I'm praying that, he, that he does not come here. I'm hoping and praying he don't. Whoever that woman was that was with him? Uh-huh. Being, they both were beating up on your daughter. Oh, okay. They, okay. And then he held a knife to uh, Shannon's uh, throat and said, if you come in, oh. Yeah, he said, he said, he held a knife to her throat and said, I'll kill you too if you interfere. Oh, man. So he admitted to that, he, to the murder. Mm-hmm. Because okay. I read in the, it was in the paper, they said there was a body found, you know, they didn't give him no name or anything, and then... Laura called me and told me. Can you do me a favor? You still got the paper? Well, I, I ain't got tomorrow's paper yet, but I do have today's do. paper. <laughs> when you do, cut out every article, whatever, detail, whatever, the article, whatever, and send it to me. Okay. Because I want to read it, everything word for word. Okay. And uh, he said that uh, he later bought, later. Body on the track, hoping a train would run over. Oh, good God. That's what he was hoping. But it didn't, did it? No. Because he, he did hear what, how, the, how she was murdered, didn't you? All Lord told me was sodomized. Huh? Sodomized, whatever that is. Um, her cousin, uh, Shannon? Yeah. Said that, uh, he... Slit her, thro- slit her throat. Okay. Took a knife, stabbed her in the heart, and turned it. Oh, God. That's cool, fast. That's what the reporters were saying. So, uh, you know. This call is originating from an Ohio correctional institution and may be recorded or monitored. Oh, man. He went all, he went all out there when he killed my daughter. He was either on drugs or, or a psychopath. Well... He had to been on something. Junior said he must have had to been on something. All I gotta say is, all I gotta say is, he better not come here. I hope he don't. I hope they send him somewhere else. Because I remember there's gonna be a lot of us gonna have to keep me from him. Cause I hope he, we're hoping, you know, he gets a death penalty. Because you know what? I know what he looks like now. So you know who he, who he is then, huh? Yeah, I heard, I looked, I seen that name. I said, man, that name sounds familiar. Oh, uh, well, I'm thinking of, did you get my one letter I sent you? Huh? Did you get that one letter I sent you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's, that's messed up. That's messed up. Oh. Uh, yeah, we are. We saw it on the Channel 11 yeah, they, Fox News. Yeah, they showed her picture too. Yeah. Well, he's been in front of about Laura called up there. And... This is a crime circus presentation. Yeah, we didn't because we didn't know who who it was because I read in the paper it said. Um, uh, let's see, let me find it here real quick. Yeah, All right, here's, here's what it reads in today's paper, brother. Okay, read me some of Report it. of dead body unconfirmed. City police would not confirm or deny a report Sunday that a dead body had been found under the Dr. Martin Luther King Way overpass. The time or exact location of the incident was not released. The Finley Police Department had no comment on this matter late, you know, last night, Sunday night. And then the courier was told Sunday night to contact the detective's division of the police department on Monday morning. It'll be probably more in tomorrow's paper. Okay, when you do, when you get that, send it, send it to me. Okay. Oh, 
I know, brother. Hang in. You still there? Yeah, I'm still here. Because I want to get somebody to buy to get me a get me a buy me a photo album commissary. That way I can put her that stuff in there for her. I'm thinking he's gonna get it. I hope he gets that death penalty. For doing that to your daughter and my niece. They said that she he won't get the death penalty. I think he gets the death penalty. Mary said he should. They better do something before I... Uh, something. Because I... Because I can't take too much more. I know. Well, See if you can... I had it passed away. Now my daughter... See? If they ha- do they... Do they... Do they have a clergy or... Yeah, I, I can't see A preacher, somebody. Yeah, I can't see him until Wednesday because he's off on Mondays and Tuesdays. Okay, so hold in and tell the guards that when he gets, you know, that you want to talk to the clergy, okay? they got a close watch on me right now, anyhow. Okay, okay. I'm to watch around the clock. Okay, brother. Because at first they was going to have me go to one house, and I said, no, 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 no. Then they was going to put me over at IHS, and I said, no. I said, let me go back to five house. Oh, brother, uh-huh. when we saw it on the, the 6 o'clock news on Channel 11, uh-huh. they removed uh, Willa Dean from the house. This call is originating from an Ohio correctional institution and may be recorded or monitored. So now she's at my granddaughter's in, in, in a foster care. Yeah, because they moved her from the home. We saw her. Well, the picture I got of my granddaughter when she was when she was a baby. That's was Vera still married to that? Your no, granddaughter's she, dad? She wasn't even married at all. Because she would have got married, that would have took her uh, social security check. She never even got married. Not from what Adam, when he texted her, he told, he, when he left me a message a while back, a year ago, yeah. that uh, Vera got married or a story. I heard she did. I heard she uh, said that if she got married, that she would go take her. Check, I mean, take her uh, SSI check. So I don't know what to believe. I never seen it in, in the articles and papers or nothing of her getting. How did I? How did I? Not that she got married by a, pri- a private minister. Possible. Oh, Probably like she got married by a private minister or something. That's the only thing I could think of. So when you, you you talk to the clergy, so you won't so you won't lose it. You yeah, hear me? I, yeah, I'll see. Him. Well, in between that, I'm going to go uh, have them call tomorrow with the mental health. I'm going to mental health tomorrow. Oh, do you know the, the father of your grandbabies is the same guy? Oh, it's uh, the one who killed her. Hmm. The one that killed her? No, it was um, Shannon's nephew. Oh, okay. He's the father of Willa Dean and uh, Brandon Lee. Oh, jeez. It was her nephew's cousin is the one that killed Vera. All I gotta say, nothing better happened to Ashley. Yeah. That's all I gotta say because something happens. Guess what? I'll go. For, I'll go freaking crazy. Don't go that far, brother. Just talk to a preacher, because you ain't got too many. You, you, you got another seven years to go. So. I got seven. I know. You got another daughter yet, but, you know. Yeah, because uh, that, that well. thing that's going through my mind is Ashley right now. Do you remember what Vera, um, when she was born? And we had all these troubles with her, the needle and tubes and everything. And they yes, I remember you telling me that. And yes. That she wasn't going to make it. She, yeah. She made it this far. She made it this far because when she was a baby and when she was born, they had her, all, had her uh, hooked up to uh, tubes and everything, and he about lost it then. Yeah, Vera was born premature, huh? Yep. Yeah. Mary's, one of her sisters was born premature, too. 
Uh, Vicky. Uh, when I uh, when I find when I go and talk to the clergy on Wednesday, then I'll okay. Gonna, what'll be the best time to call you back again? Probably this week, this weekend, or what? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Okay. What Friday or Saturday? Brother. Yeah. Mary says she's sorry to hear what happened. Yeah, I know. That was my that was my baby girl. I know, I know. The guy that did it is definitely sick, and I think the devil was in him. Well, you know what? It had to have been in him. You know what? What? I hope he burns in hell. Yeah. Yeah, the devil comes, steals and kills and, <laughs> and destroys. Yeah, but why did he have to take my daughter? Because you do, you do, Ma. Uh, he wanted to know if it was all right. He let me know this week when he got done, when he gets done talking to the preacher. Yeah, Mary said, yeah. Okay. So I know how you, how you made out. Yeah, on this call. Yeah, so I'll call you back. We, you know, let you know. All right, brother. You hang in there. And I will. I'll be praying for you, brother. All right. Bye. Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. This is Global Tell Link. This call is originating from an Ohio correctional institution and may be recorded or monitored. I have a collect call from Lord Riggle Jr. An inmate at Allen Correctional Institution. To hear the maximum cost of this call, press 9. For customer assistance and collection or complaint procedures, dial 1-800-231-0193. Otherwise, to accept, dial 0 and hold. To refuse, dial 5 and... Your call is being connected. Thank you for using Global Telling. Yeah. All right, Derek, question ask you, brother. What's that? We went uh, to the uh, visitation last night. Yeah. No? Uh-huh. Well, I picked Crystal up, too. Okay. And uh, Mary asked Verna that question that, uh, you know, related to the, to the uh, Shannon Cheryl Brooks. Yeah. Or Daniel Bixler, and she said no. Did you read the picture where, where everything, they got everything, twi- they don't have me as a father? Yes, or uh, yeah. Said it was born, she, that Vera was born to them in 1986. And, and, Says that Vera was related to both of them. And you know what? That, everything that says in that, some of that picture where is a lie. So they're not related. Okay. Uh, that's what I wanted to ask you, because uh, Mary asked her that, and she said she's not related to him. I figured that. That's what I was trying to figure it out, you know, because I don't, you know, don't even know them that name, them side of the family, the people on that side. And he says he doesn't even know, know them on that side. You, you, you don't know for sure, huh? No, 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 not as I know of. Not that he, he know, knows of. What I'm doing is, I'm going to, oh, he read it. What's that, huh? Mary and I both said that 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 wasn't right. No. And they had, um, we just caught it on the news. Uh, Yeah. They had the police escort the family to the uh, the cemetery. Yeah, I see, I I seen that too. I just got, I got uh, on the TV, I just seen it. He said he just saw it too. I just timed. I timed that. I timed it just right when I turned it on. He said he timed it just right by turning the TV on. And they was going to have it at that at the uh, uh, Clinton, I guess I think at the bike trail. You know what? But I, you know when Verna was on the TV. Yeah. Remember when I told you about that? Well, she had an open by by heart pass surgery. Mm-hmm. And she had a stroke. Mm-hmm. Okay. With all this, with this all onto her, it's going to kill her. I know for a fact. Because what she does, it's going to take her a long time to get up because she was out there around Vera, okay? 
Well, I wasn't, but still, with me being a far away, it still hurt me, too. Yeah, I know. And I yeah. did it through all this, you know, about, you know, going to the funeral. Mm-hmm. They told me I couldn't because, you know, my case. This is a crime circus presentation. They was, they was afraid I was going to do something appropriate, appropriate, whatever. I just told them, okay, I said, no problem. I said, I said I'll just let it, I said, I'll just remember she was. Yeah, we've been hearing all kinds of stories. Yeah, because, uh... Um, like, uh, like we heard that uh, Sherry Brooks paid them to, to do that. You know what? Sierra. You know what if she did? Besides, that house where she's at should be condemned. Mm-hmm. So that's a, on top of that, where, that's where it started at. That's a crime scene. Where it was at in the, up in the back. Oh. Hold on a minute, Virginia. Uh, also, we heard that, uh... They were, um, they were raping her and beating her. Oh, Bixler? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to have to, guess what? You know Darren Wright? Hey. Huh? You know Darren Wright? Yeah. Guess what? He, uh, he's with me 100% on a bunch of, uh, he's, sticking, he's sticking beside me on this. Oh, he's... And he told me when I called you, I told him I was going to call you tonight. Mm-hmm. And he told me to find out a little bit more what started it and let him know. And he's going to help me. He's going to do some, help me out with some stuff. I can't mention say it on the phone because uh, they monitored it. So I don't want to get myself, I don't want to, have, you know, have them cut, cut me off and put me, you know, say, you know. Yeah. So. Um, what I'll do, what I do when I find out more, you know, and I'll. I'll write it in a letter. This call is originating from an Ohio correctional institution and may be recorded or monitored. I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll get, yeah. The reason I haven't uh, answered your calls when you've been trying to get hold of me? Mm-hmm. Because I wasn't working there for a while, but then now I've got me a job. Okay. When I do, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, talk to, to Darren tonight, uh, let him know, and then I'll write you a letter this weekend for a free letter. It'll go out Monday, and you should get it Tuesday or Wednesday. I haven't been working since November. So. Oh, that's why I haven't been able to get through lately. That's why I haven't been accepting them. Oh, okay. I was wondering what was going on. I had on the that. extra money to pay for it because I married the only one working and I wasn't. Oh, okay, that's what But was then I be. finally found me a job and you know where I'm at? Mm-mm. I'm going to be a housekeeper. Oh, okay. Where, where, where she works. Where's that at? They're filled in. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not with it right now. Okay. Oh, remember when I asked you, you know, for the articles and stuff out of the paper? Yeah. Don't worry about it. Bolander helped me out. Oh, okay. Because he gets the paper, and I got him, and I cut the articles out, put them in a, put them in a plastic a Ziploc bag, and sealed it, and put them away. Oh, okay. So, I thought that's what I was thinking of, but I better let you know. So how you been holding up? Oh, I've been doing all right. Did you finally get to talk to a clergy? Talk to who? A preacher. No, he won't be until next month. He's out. Oh, that's he's a, out for huh. hip, hip surgery. There ain't nobody else in. But I talked to uh, over at Mental Health. Uh, I talked to him. Well, the place where they. Uh, I talked uh, to him uh, over there at Mental Health, so. I they told him. Somewhere, uh, uh, something called mental health or something. He talked to them people. So I told him that I'm going to have to come back next week. It's better than nothing, brother. I said, he asked me if I want to come back next week. I said, it's going to, I'm going to, it's going to take as long as it's going to take. Oh, uh, I uh, took a picture of Vera, two pictures of her in her casket. Uh huh. So then, and uh, then. So Mary and Chris and I was getting ready to leave. I asked, uh, Ashley was after talking, and I said, uh, "Ashley, can I take a picture of you two? What'd you say? I heard Frank and they all moved away, so I can just get her by herself. So when you do, yeah, I'm going to ask about that. Yeah, so I took it and I'm keeping it, okay? So when you okay, do come home, I'll show it to you. Is there any way you get a copy and send me a copy of them? No, it's on my cell phone. Oh. Yeah, the battery's going dead on the phone. All right, I'm going to let you go then. 
There, there's no way I can do that because they're on my cell phone. All right, I love you. I love you too, brother. Bye. Bye.